Our approach should be not to receive external information to assimilate it or to internalize that, but all the opposite actually it should be that you bring out your own information by processing that external information. It's not a, 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 an information event only, but it's about you and then therefore what you have inside will come out in the process of learning this thing step by step. So the main thing is how to get interested or to get knowledge to be interested actually in, in learning because to learn something takes an effort and, and if we don't have interest or you know this thing that people say I don't have, I love the motivation, but actually maybe they never had it in the first place. And that's why uh, there's a problem there, because this uh, understanding was missing. That, that is all about you. What you have inside, your internal information will come out through this external data that you process there. Now, how you learn it, then you know there is people who who is more by ear or more visual. Other classic people generally trained to just read music, right? But even those who, who are so-called visual should do the effort to listen because that's why I advise to use this for, for, for practices like technique, etc. After intermediate level or in the, from the intermediate level, we start using the blindfold. So this thing of I am visual, I am this, I am that. Here in music, you have to become a very good listener because music is about sound. Right? Now the way to learn it, that also of course you can be visual, but the thing is that even if you are visual and you do the effort in what you are weak at, you will come up even stronger there. So right, therefore, the, the process of listening is very important. Actually, then we will analyze which obstacles are there in the, in the learning process and we will observe that, that the main thing there is to not listen attentively or to not pay enough attention. When you are really focused on the thing, you can get it. But, but if the mind is distracted, then that easy task becomes like it, it seems to be impossible to get. But in fact, there is a way to escape that bad fate, which is the understanding of knowledge, how to learn, how you, how you get knowledge to become interested in learning. <laughs> La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida 
encerrado puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que, en el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo creo.